Hi everyone, I'm Brian Lanker and I'm the Financial Services Industry CTO at Snowflake. Today I'll be demonstrating how a hypothetical investment manager can seamlessly incorporate ESG data into their investment planning workflow using Snowflake. The momentum to adopt and incorporate ESG into financial services workflows has never been higher. With factors such as the COVID pandemic, continued climate change, and heightened social unrest, investors and regulators are now expecting financial professionals to identify and properly evaluate investment opportunities and risk against ESG measures. Fortunately, the financial services industry is well positioned to be a leader in this space. For this demo, I will show how to discover and source new sets of third-party ESG data, how to integrate and apply these new data sets into an existing database of in-house ESG metrics, how to compare proprietary ESG scores with third-party ESG data, and then apply this data to our portfolios. By the end of this workflow, we will be able to help investment managers identify any holdings with deteriorating ESG scores, screen for alternative investment opportunities, and quickly rebalance their portfolio to meet the needs of their clients. As you can see here, we have a set of JSON files sitting on object storage. For our clients, this could be something like S3, Azure Blob, or Google Cloud Storage. For this demo, we have an internal object storage stage that I have loaded this to, and as you can see, we have these compressed files that include our daily portfolio data. By just querying the data as it lies on the internal stage, before we've even loaded it into a proper table in Snowflake, we see our JSON data showing our portfolio, the holdings, the shares, as well as the in-house ESG score. Later in this demo, we will show how our portfolio ranks against this proprietary score that our analysts have derived and how it compares to ESG scores from the Snowflake market. So diving in and showing some Snowflake feature functions here, you can create a table containing a special variant column to load that JSON into. Now let's load the data. We'll go ahead and scale our warehouse up, load that data using a JSON file format, grabbing it from the stage, putting it in our new table, and then immediately scale that warehouse back down. With those JSON files loaded, we can go ahead and just take a look at that raw table. Next, using Snowflake's dot notation, you can click into our portfolio. See our holdings, the ticker symbols, the name of the securities, any trades that have been made in the previous day, and our in-house ESG scores. I can turn this into a view so it looks more like a normal table and will be easier for us to refer to later on in the demo. As an example, I can quickly return this view and look at all of our positions for Tesla across our various portfolios. Now I'm going to show you how to bring in FactSet's ESG data. What you're seeing here is Snowflake's data marketplace. We're going to pull from FactSet's True Value Labs SASB scores data feed, which you can see more info on here, including things like coverage, history, and documentation. We'd normally click on this request data button but we've already handled the agreements for the purpose of this demo. We received this data from FactSet through a share and harmonized it with our in-house ESG scores. We will focus on materiality as well as their all categories, insights and ranking scores, all of which you can see here in the results pane. Promoting this as a view, you get to your analytics layer where BI users and tools will actually report out of. And we can begin to query this view, looking at our internal ESG score, as well as FactSet's all categories ESG score. For this next query, we'll look at anything newer than March of last year. And we're looking at the average internal score by day compared to the average FactSet true value score. Here you can see on our result pane that our average internal score is a little higher than what FactSet is providing. We can make this a little easier to see by visualizing the results quickly with a simple line chart comparing the two metrics over time. This scoring differential is something that may trigger a portfolio manager to examine and reevaluate. Something that our internal ESG data lacks is scoring around benchmarks. By utilizing the marketplace again, we can access this data from FactSet. Here you can see the results of this query returning ESG scores at the benchmark level. By bringing this data in, our portfolio managers can now benchmark their portfolios against these different indices. Now using the snow site functionality, we can visualize this in a bar graph. 
and you can see that we have been able to quickly go from tabular data to some visuals to grab insights from. And that specifically our portfolio seems to be performing on an aggregate ESG scoring higher than the S&P 500, but lower than the S&P total US stock market. With FactSet's ESG data merged with our in-house ESG scores, we can also see any constituents that have dropped in their ESG scores month over month, as this query is showing us. This insight will help us determine and influence how we construct and rebalance our portfolios. We can even dig further into specific holdings as the next query shows and understand more about why specific attributes might be declining. And maybe in this instance, removing a holding completely from our portfolio. Finally, we have a dashboard to pull all this information together. We can see our market values from our portfolios, our internal ESG scores, plus the scores we brought in from FactSet through the marketplace, as well as the benchmark values. And finally, our top decliners and advancers in our portfolio based on those combined scores. Wrapping up, we were able to highlight a number of topics. Reduce time in data discovery and data acquisition by leveraging the Snowflake data marketplace, lower overall total cost of data ownership with reduced or no ETL with data onboarding from on-prem or S3 storage, ease of data management, fast query times within Snowflake, a more efficient and secure way to share data across internal teams and external counterparties using Snowflake data sharing capabilities, and an effective dashboard to highlight the effectiveness of all the KPIs. This overview of incorporating ESG into an investment manager's portfolio construction and rebalancing workflow is just a quick example of one of many different use cases that can be enabled by Snowflake and the financial services data cloud. Whether you're in asset management, banking, or insurance, Snowflake powers business critical workflows by enabling and streamlining data access, collaboration, and security. And with near unlimited scalability and multi-cluster compute, different teams across different lines of business can run workloads across the front, middle, and back office without contention. Thank you for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter.